welcome to Castle Press. I'm George Kenny, and today I'm going to talk about three different types of binding methods. But before you decide on what, how you're going to bind your book, you want to take into consideration how many pages you have, uh, the thickness of the paper, the quantity that you're going to print, uh, how the end user is going to use it, and how it's going to get to the end user. The most common method of binding is saddle stitching. This is where you have the two staples on the spine of the book. Typically, you'll have a cover that's a, of a different material or a different paper than the body of the book, and the staples will go all the way through the center of the book. Saddle stitching, you have to have four pages and what we call a signature for it to work. Another type of binding is perfect binding. And this is where you have a square back. The cover is a different material than the body. And if you look on the edge of a perfect bound piece, you'll see a, a little edge of glue. And what actually happens is we take the body of the book, we grind off the edge, and then we glue the cover right on the top of the book. A great advantage of, of a perfect bound book is the fact that we can have a square back and we can have the title of the book on the spine. So when it sits on your shelf, you can see what, what it is. Another type of binding is what we call mechanical binding. And this is a spiral binding here, and we also have a wire-o binding. The advantage to this type of binding is that it's very good for short runs. It lays very flat. It has great strength. And you can put different papers throughout the book. Okay? The disadvantage of this type of binding is difficult to mail. So those are the three types of binding. Thank you very much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you in the future.